prayers up for my sister, Renetta. Um, I know y'all haven't really heard me talk about Renetta, but I have. I have. I, I, I've definitely spoken about my sister, Renetta. She lives in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, guys. Um, and I got a call from my mom saying that she is in the hospital, that she's not, not responsive. And, um, you know, Renetta is the first sister that I had any type of interaction with. Y'all know I have many, many uh, sisters, but I didn't grow up with any sisters in real life. And I'm just kind of reiterating this because I, I do say this, you know, uh, later, a little bit uh, later on in this video. But um, Renetta was the first sister that I had any type of interaction with. And me and Renetta are sisters through uh, our parents, her father, Roosevelt, and my mother, Denise, are married. Okay. And they've been married for a long time. But, you know, um, I kind of talk about the history of me and Renetta and uh, how we met a little bit you know, uh, in more detail in this video, but I just want everybody to please pray, whether you know her or not, just knowing me, please pray for my sister Renetta and hope that she does respond and hope that she gets better. Um, this one is going to hit home if anything, God forbid, goes wrong because, like I said, me and Renetta have a relationship, you know, whether I see her or she see me, uh, often or not, I, it's gonna it's gonna fuck me up um, if, if anything happened to my sister. So uh, I'm just hoping and praying that nothing does. You know, I've been through it. As far as you know, um, people and my family close to me and you know, leaving me and stuff, dying and stuff on me. Y'all know that, but just prayers, please pray for her. And, Hope that she responds and gets better. Guys. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to still find out more information. Pretty much. So. Because I find out. I will definitely. Keep y'all posted. So. You yeah, just. Thank you guys. So the surprise is going to have to wait for another time guys. I think. I think it's just gonna have to wait until I get out of town, come back from out of town. And I also need to see if I can try to fix my arrangements where, uh, my travel arrangements where I'm not not gone so long, you guys. So far, I'm kinda set to be gone for a long time and that ain't, that ain't gonna work for me. I, I gotta see what I could do about that. But in, in the meantime, y'all, I think I'm gonna, about to Let's go take care of a couple other things today. I did talk to my mother today. She's at a funeral today. Um, some family friends, you know, the Dotsons. And shout out to the Dotson family. I'm so sorry for your loss. And I do have to say this about the Dotson family. I remember them as a little girl because they had a brother named Scotty. And Scotty was crazy about me. And I just remember him. And I remember, you know, the other, some of the other siblings and stuff too, as well, very well. As a matter of fact, um, a few of them was at my Uncle Macy uh, funeral, you know, and, and they've been very supportive of my family when it comes to funerals and being there. And, you know, they have a lot of preachers and pastors. So yeah, if y'all wanna see, who the Dotsons are. You have to do is go to my Uncle Macy uh, funeral, that video, and the lady preaching, she is one of the Dotsons. Her, the preacher, she lost her sister. So my mother is at her funeral as well. She should be, because they certainly, certainly be there for our family. Okay, and I'm a witness to that. On more than one occasion, I've seen those, the Dotsons family, show up and represent themselves at a Stevens funeral okay so i'm really proud of that i'm really sad that i can't be there you know um and i i got some other really uh pretty upsetting news and i think right now what i'm gonna do is take a little time out to try to make some phone calls after this clip find out what the hell's going on and uh definitely get back to you i'll let y'all know what's going on because my mother also let me know that i have a sister she's my stepsister now my mother 
and um my stepsister's her, her name is Renetta and I've talked about her before you know um in in other videos but Renetta lives in Sheboygan Wisconsin and um my mother called me and not only did she tell me about the Dotson's funeral, she also told me that I have a sister that Renetta is not in the hospital who's not responding. So I don't know what that's about, but I love Renetta because I'm going to tell y'all something. One thing about Renetta, me and Renetta, I know I talked about this in the video. Me and Renetta were friends before her father, Roosevelt, and my mother, Denise, got married okay that's how we became sisters through marriage and it was just awfully ironic that like i said me and her we, we were friends as little girls we used to go to sunday school together so that's how we became sisters we were already sisters as friends before our parents got married so that was very ironic but yeah and i was kind of close to renetta real close to her as a matter of fact i went to live with renetta at one um at one time in my life one point in my life guys when i start started to, to dance when i started stripping i went to sheboygan wisconsin because that's where she was living and i had actually uh was living with her and i started to dance at club michigan you know um and i was staying there with my sister so i don't know what's going on i need to find out get to you know at least find out some more details so i'm about to call my sister in atlanta kiki because she's the one that called and told my mother so I can find out what the hell's going on, y'all. So stay tuned. So I have been trying to, um, I tried to call Roosevelt <clears throat> myself. Went right to voicemail. <clears throat> oh, by the way, this, this is the, the update on my sister Renetta, the one that lives in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, the one that's in the hospital. And uh, I wasn't able to get a hold of Roosevelt. I called Uncle Roach, Uncle Roach said that uh he tried to call roosevelt he really don't get up this early even though it's, it's an afternoon here and there now i don't know what's going on guys but i do know roosevelt sleep late but damn he gonna have to get his ass up Shit. roosevelt you know sometimes i know you want to turn your phone off sometimes and you don't want to be disturbed but you, you just never know what can happen in life and this is a prime example of why you don't turn off your damn phone, you know, because you, like I said, you never know what can happen. Things can happen in a heartbeat, guys, and I'm talking about tragedies, you know. God forbid this is a tragedy, you know, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I know I'm going to get, get me some greens uh, because uh, this, this is very stressful for me. You know, I love Renetta now. Me and Renetta... Like I said, we got history. We kind of... Me and Renetta are the only two sisters that... I'm going to say this. I consider Renetta my real sister. I'm going to say that first off. Because Renetta was the first sister. Okay? She was the very first one. Okay? And she's the one that really did grow up with me she go the furthest back when it comes to growing up with like in in that way it, it was her it was her first okay then it was kiki but i kicked it with her first it was renetta first so i am very concerned about where the hell what what's going on y'all so i just want to say that you know i did talk to my sister Kiki, I tried to call her at first, the one in Atlanta, and I, I got her voicemail, but I did finally talk to her. She told me that Renetta had a heart attack last night, and that Renetta is just unresponsive. So, you know... You know, guys, I'm going to say this. Um, I can't put my sister business out there like that. As far as, you know, what I feel may have um, 
prompted this heart attack. I can't put the shit out there like that. I'm not gonna do that. If it was me, I'd do it, but it's not me. So I can't do the shit. You know, just because I live my life, you know, uh, you know, as an open book or whatever, doesn't mean that, you know, other people want their shit out there. And I have to respect my sister and I gotta respect other people, just period. So that's what I'm gonna do. But um, me and Kiki talked about, you know, what, what the possibilities are. And Kiki said that maybe, you know, it's from her diet, you know, because maybe she just, you know, she's she healthy. She healthy. I ain't gonna say she fat, but she healthy as hell. She thick, thick, healthy, healthy as hell. She thick, healthy as hell. <laughs> I'll say that. I ain't gonna say fat, though. I mean, people got different definitions of fat. I say I'm fat sometimes, you know. So, you know, she she just, she ain't no little woman. But she not no fat woman to me, in my opinion, either. But my sister Kiki feel that maybe her diet has something to do with it. You know. Um, maybe, because, you know, she is always on Facebook posting what she cooked. You know, so. <laughs> Renetta do like to eat. But, uh. I'm gonna have to leave that there, y'all. I, I can't I can't get into other shit. You know, like I said, I can't do it. But I'm just hoping for the best, irregardless of what the fuck caused it. I'm just hoping for the best for my sister. Because that's the sister that's been there, you know, like I said, from day one. As far as when it comes to siblings, y'all know I didn't grow up with any. I didn't grow up with any of my sisters. But um the sisters that I talk about now, the sisters that I, that I that, that's been in my life that you've heard me talk about, you know, I didn't grow up with none of them. I didn't grow up with any sisters. I grew up with one brother, and that's my brother Reginald, uh, you know, from my mom, my mom's uh, son. That's it. <clears throat> so my sisters came about, you know, later in my life, but Renetta was the first one. So she has a special place in my heart always whether I see her often or not, and I just need to know that she's okay. And I just think it's a goddamn shame that uh, nobody can get a hold of Roosevelt or, you know, that's that's just sad to me. Rose, Roosevelt need to keep that damn phone on. So y'all, I gotta go back and try to get some more information and find some more stuff out still, you know. This is not good because, um, yeah, she, she was unresponsive. You know, she, unresponsive. That's that's never good. So, I, I, I guess I'll keep y'all posted. 